today is the day I'm finally going to tackle my vacuum cleaners. I've been talking about this for a long time, but I finally have the time to sit down and actually do it. And I've come across the way that I think is going to be genius if it works. So I wanted to bring you guys along. I'm going to be cleaning these vacuums out with my dishwasher. So I hope you guys are ready for the ride. I'm going to go ahead and get started and just show you how disgusting they are. So let's just take a, a quick peek. Okay, so these are the vacuums that I'm going to be working with today. Yes, I have three. It looks like a vacuum graveyard in my house. I'm aware of this, but this one is the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser Slim. This one is my Shark Apex Duo Clean. And then this one, I can't remember the name of it. It was sent to me by a company, but it's a really good vacuum cleaner and I like it a lot. So the one thing about these is they all have like this removable little canister here, right? So I'm going to show you what these look like inside. I'm going to dump them out and get them as clean as I can before I start to put all of the parts in the dishwasher. Okay, so as you can see inside this one, it's got like this dusty, nasty stuff. And what I'm assuming this is, is just like pet dander, dust, all that gross stuff. It's also just like caked all around the top of the canister as well. And then all of this is full of dog hair. There's also a filter inside of this one too. And I actually bought replacement filters from Amazon for this uh, a couple years ago and I've gone through them all and I don't have any more, but I definitely do wanna get this clean because anything that comes through here, like when you use your vacuum cleaner and it smells, especially if you have a pet, then this is probably gonna be the best thing to make sure that you get cleaned. There's also this little piece in here too that I'm gonna to try to wash. It's not too bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to wash that too. Okay, so this is the canister for the Bissell and it's pretty much the same thing. You can see like all that dust and dirt, pet dander and all of Bodie's dog hair that's in here. We're gonna go ahead and clean this one out too. And same thing with this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all of these out and then we're gonna to get to the actual cleaning part. I'm so excited. Okay, so go ahead and raise your hand right now if you think I'm absolutely crazy for putting parts of my vacuum cleaners in my dishwasher. Believe me, I thought it was crazy too when I first saw it, but it does make a lot of sense. And I also want to say, because I don't think I mentioned this when I was actually talking to you guys in the video, but after you do this, if you do decide to try it out, make sure that after you take the parts out of the dishwasher, that you go ahead and run that dishwasher another cycle without anything in it. That way you can make sure that everything in there is clean and nice and sanitized. And I absolutely made sure to go ahead and pull any dirt, dust, dog hair, human hair, or anything out of these parts before I did put it into my dishwasher. And I rinsed it out in the sink as well, just to get as much of that stuff out as humanly possible. Because I know putting your vacuum cleaner in the dishwasher does not sound like the most sanitary thing. But I'm really excited for you guys to see exactly how all of this turned out. Okay, so after I've actually just dumped everything out, you can see that there's like all this residue and stuff in here. So before I actually put this in my dishwasher, I'm going to take it to the bathroom and just run some water through it and get most of the stuff off, especially like the dog hair. Also, if you do this, you want to make sure that these are pieces that don't have any like hard wiring to them. Just your tanks and your canisters is really all that you should be putting into your dishwasher. The rest of the vacuum cleaner, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out by hand while these are running through that cycle. If you need to move this top rack, if yours is, um, you know, removable, go ahead and do that. But I think, I think mine will be okay just to go ahead and put on the bottom because it is a little taller. I might have to take mine out actually. Let me see. Hello? How do I get you out? Do you come out? Do you want to come out? Huh? Okay, I'll figure that one out in a minute, but I'm just going to go ahead and put these smaller ones up top along with all of their little pieces. Ok, 
Okay, for this one down here, I think I'm just gonna have to leave it catty cornered because it's a little bit too big and I cannot move this. But I think it's still gonna get all the cleaning that it should from every direction. So we're just gonna lay it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in just one dishwasher tablet. Make sure that you have it on the coolest setting. So because the filters are like porous and like actual material, I think I'm going to go ahead and just throw these in a really quick cycle of the washing machine instead of putting them in the dishwasher because I know there's going to be more hair and stuff in here that I couldn't just rinse out as opposed to the pieces of the vacuum that were plastic and I knew that when I rinsed it, it was clean because I could see it. So I'm just going to do a really quick wash of these with um, just a little bit of detergent. Okay, so for the inside of these, I'm just going to take like a wet microfiber cloth and just wipe them out. I'm not going to put any cleaner or anything on them. I don't think it needs it. But I am just going to wipe out these parts that are dirty that cannot go in the dishwasher. Look at how gross that is already. Ugh. Make sure you get this little... Make sure you get all of the little parts that you can reach. I can't get the actual hose off of this one, otherwise I would take that out and clean it too, but it doesn't come off of this one. So the underneath of this one really isn't that bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and try to pull anything out of that little roll that I can, but there's really not anything in there, so this one's pretty clean. Okay, I think I spoke too soon, so I'm gonna get in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna get in there and just pull all of that stuff out and wipe this pretty good. Okay, you guys, so apparently these rollers, you can take them out. I knew that you could take them out, and I actually take mine out a lot and make sure that I don't have anything wrapped up on it, but I did not think about washing this, and you definitely can wash those rollers I would not put these in the dishwasher, but you can just take them over to the sink in the kitchen or the bathroom, get them wet. You can use some hand soap or if you want to use some dish detergent, whatever makes your little heart happy, you can go ahead and get that all sudsy and just set that outside or wherever in the windowsill. I don't care where you set it. Just set it out that way that it can dry. Um, I didn't think about that, but I will definitely do that the next go around. Also, these little top covers, they are disgusting, and I went ahead and rinsed that one off as well. I had to get my little crevice vacuum tool to get in all those little nooks and crannies, and I really wish that I could take those hoses off of the, I can't get the hoses off of any of these, but I really wish that I could. That way I can go ahead and give those a good rinse out too, because a lot of stuff just sits in there. And another thing that I was thinking about, I think all of that white stuff and crap and crud that's in these vacuum cleaners, I think every time that I use like baking soda or something like that and I sprinkle it on my carpet to try to help with like neutralizing odors and things like that, I think that is the stuff that is just getting all up in there and clogging up my vacuum cleaner. So I'm probably going to stop doing that for a little bit just to save my vacuum cleaner if possible. Okay, I don't think they should go through like an entire cycle, so it's pretty much done and I wanted to pull them out, but these things are spotless, like brand spanking new, so I'm going to go ahead and take them outside and lay them out on a towel to dry because I think that's just going to be faster that way, but just look how incredibly clean these are. I could not have gotten these this clean just by wiping them alone. Okay, so now that that stuff is outside drying, these filters just came out of the dryer themselves. And look at this, so they look like, they look brand new. Do you remember what this one looked like? It was disgusting. 
it was caked up with all of that nasty stuff. Look at this one. Like brand new. I can't, I can't believe it. Look, and I didn't even have to go buy new ones and they smell good because I put detergent in there. I think probably the reason why mine gets so disgusting for one is because I have a dog. For two, I think sometimes like if I run over something in the kitchen that might be wet, like where Bodie drinks his water or something like that, if I run over that accidentally because I don't see it and then I keep vacuuming, it gets moisture and stuff inside the vacuum cleaner and then it just like cakes all of that stuff in there when it gets dry. It's just disgusting. But these definitely needed to be cleaned. And um, the only thing I have left to do is wait for those to dry, put them back together on the vacuum cleaners and make sure they work. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. And if that's the case, then this was a successful way to clean my vacuum and the dishwasher. So now that all of my vacuum cleaners are cleaned, I did want to say, I think you're supposed to do this like once a month. Obviously I don't do that because I think about it, but then I just don't do it. But if you guys clean your vacuum once a month, kudos to you. I just don't, but I need to because obviously they're disgusting, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love to come across things that are just kind of like out of the ordinary and I always want to share stuff with you. So if you uh, end up trying to put your vacuum cleaner in the dishwasher to clean it, make sure to let me know. But that's all I have for you guys today. I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.